Red Bull. Okay, continue with the briefing. It's enough. Okay, push. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, my name is Ajay. Ajay Kumar, and I'm from Manali. And I'm your beat director for this talk for XC Championship for Beer Building 2023. So, we're going to start some basic information about the event, like most people they know, like very familiar to the comp, but there are many people here only for the first time also. So, I'm going to explain everything in detail a little bit, but briefly, not big details. So, is that okay with you? Everyone's happy that you're here? It's a good atmosphere. I mean, weather is looking okay, so it should be good fun. Let's start with the procedure for the day. We have a vehicle leaving from here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Every morning, we have a vehicle outside. So 8 o'clock, everybody please come here and we go to the takeoff. What? Sorry? Okay, the task briefing is different. Task for the, to go to the task or to the takeoff point, we have vehicles here. We have buses and we have all the small vehicles that people can fit in. Uh, so 8 o'clock we are leaving from here. Okay? And then we go to the takeoff. And then we have a task committee, we decide the task and then put it on the board to you guys. Alright? So, is it possible to get picked up from anywhere else? No. You can have breakfast at your hotel 7 o'clock, 7.30, <laughs> and come here. We'll provide you lunch. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll provide you lunch, and uh, after landing or whatever, you can have your lunch. Alright, so before eating breakfast, so when you come here at 8 o'clock, you will get your lunch box to the takeoff. Okay? So you can also, if it's not, you can also have a little bit here and take a little bit further. Yes, yes. We have, so 8 o'clock you have some lunch in the so Let's talk about the technical part, the flying and safety. So the takeoff procedures will start from the WPRS who are top 10 and then top 20 and top 30 from the first, from the first day. And the second day, it will be the comp reserve. We'll decide who's going to take the priority for the takeoff. Is that right? Okay. So the first thing, like we have the pilots here, so we'll see the points, who is high ranking, they will take off first, and then soon as soon as we will go to take off. We have takeoff marshals who help you on takeoff. We have multiple takeoffs, you know, depending on the wind, so we can people, depending their comfort and their safety, you can choose your takeoff, you can go to the upper takeoff, and you can also choose to take off from the lower takeoff. Is that right? So we have both the takeoffs are we have uh, takeoff marshals and uh, you'll get help. Uh, Mr. Raju is the, our takeoff in charge with 23 marshals on the takeoff. He will help you on the takeoff for everything. If you have any problems, let just let him know. He will be there all the time for you guys. So there is a border in the takeoff where you actually get your stuff ready, your gear ready, and your fuel aligned, and make sure everything is okay. And then you walk into the takeoff with the glider. Don't just come and spread your glider on takeoff and make problems for the others. Okay, is that clear? Perfect. So, next thing comes, your are afraid the window is open, everyone's gonna take off, and we have, uh, depending upon the day, or day, and we have different turning, and you know, we have different turning, like let's say for today, we had the uh, right turning, before the start, when you take off, it will go in the house thermal, try to find a lift, and if we decide that it's a right turn day, so everybody should turn right, okay? 
and also the procedure how to enter the thermal. You cannot enter straight head onto the thermal, through the thermal and off the thermal. If the radius is here, you make your line and always choose. Suppose this is the thermal, you can't go straight here. You make your line so it's obvious for the others that you are turning here and everybody turn from a beautiful way here in this corner. This is your entrance. And also enter from behind. This is a gap of line because I'm telling this because it's the basic information, but there are people here who have been thrown in the comp before also. Okay, so please, uh, you have to be very careful about like you can't bother people for it's a competition. Everybody is here to perform their best, so don't bother people by entering the wrong way. Right? Is that clear? Third thing. Uh, the the turn direction is until where? Sorry. Ah, okay. So it's only just before the start. Once the start is happened, so I say, okay, when the race is start like 11.45 or 12 o'clock, once the race is start, then you can fly like the main flying rules, like whatever the flying rules are, you know, if everybody's, if I'm in the thermal first, you come and enter the same direction. But if you are flying before the start in different direction, then you can be disqualified also. Okay? So this can cause a big trouble. If somebody's turning right, you're turning left, and then you get immediate collision. You can fall on the thermal. There are a lot of people in the thermal, and immediate collision, you can get trouble with a lot of people. Okay? Everybody's turning in the same direction. That's why we have turned direction. So danger zone during the flight. We have some danger zones. Suppose we are doing a flight towards the train station, and we are also Thermal at the same point, and also it's on the spine, there's antiquities. Okay, so please be aware of this because you have to keep some safety margin. Supply will be off and try to do some safety recovery because you can't move the electric cable now. It's there, so thermal is also there. So we have two danger zones, and also uh, we don't have very strong injuries here, but if the wind is strong, so make sure you're not putting yourself in a danger zone, okay? Because it's, it's, it's not safe enough for you, anybody. Avoid aggressive flying. What happens? People are thermaling, everybody's thermaling, and somebody just starts to cut people off. <coughs> just think that he wants to fly faster than you, but he can enter, but he has no exit. Okay, I am in the thermal here, I want to get here to the thermal, but I think I can really crank it here and go up, but you can't. You crank it here, but then you go out in front of someone. If you do this kind of flying, or flying too close, I'm flying here, somebody's coming behind, I'm like totally scared. So please keep some safety margin. If you are doing this kind of aggressive flying, you can be disqualified or you can be punished for this. So safety, we, are, we care about people and we care about safety, and it's uh, your skill that is not like bothering somebody and trying to win kind of a thing, okay? So please, Understand this that everybody will fly with a good margin and safety, and you know, don't bother people. Top landing. Suppose some pilot take off and they have problem, they realize like, oh, I have some problem and I really need to top land. So you cannot just come and top land without informing me on a radio. It's, it's a safety frequency, you can use it, you say, Okay, pilot land this, and I have a problem, I want to top land. So if I allow you to top land, then only you top land. If I don't say, because I have to see how much rush we have in the takeoff, and what kind of cycles we have on the takeoff, is it danger for you? So if I allow you to do top landing, because we have to close the takeoff, you guys have the priority is in the air to top land. So we give you a priority, a time, okay, you are allowed to take off, and only, uh, sorry, land, top land, and then only can top land, okay? Second thing is a cloud flying. Cloud flying is totally, totally forbidden. No, you cannot use clouds anymore, okay? Nobody. But just in case, if you have entered the cloud and it was too, you were flying too close to the cloud, suddenly you have entered the cloud big, you cannot spiral dive in the cloud. There are so many people below you. If you do spiral dive, you can make trouble for the people, and we don't want this to happen. What you can do in this situation, you can big here and fly to the same direction where you're going for the next turn point. Okay? If somebody is found flying in the cloud, we will see also during the scoring, 
like you were in the cloud at this altitude, you can be punished for that. Okay, so we will form also like the committee here, protest committee, and they will take the decision and make you. Yeah. Okay. You will get the board. So if you fly figures to get out of the cloud on course line, once you get out of the cloud, what do you do? Then you fly. You fly straight because all the people say they can come down, down below down. everyone. What are, I'm, I'm, I'm you supposed to get down to the bottom yeah. of the cloud. All the cable. You should. Yeah. You should spiral down until you're at a point of no advantage. No advantage. That's no advantage. that's the rule. So. Yeah. If you get there, you need to spiral down yes. below yeah, the cloud. When you're outside base. the cloud, lower than the same goes, yeah. spiral down and go below everyone else. So we're trying to form a protest committee. You guys can vote through your. <coughs> you have Telegram group. We also, but we just use Maybe Telegram. Maybe everyone is here. Okay. We can make right now if it's possible. Yes. Yeah. You can vote for your. Vote for protest, protest committee. How many Three? Three people? Match? Are you looking at me? No. <laughs> That's a protest committee. Three, three is a good three number is, for a protest committee. So, so you guys can choose? Choose and right suggest because everybody know each other. So three people should be <laughs> kindly vote for three people. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. <laughs> please. Okay. Okay, Subir. Subir is one. <laughs> 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 Alright, If there's a protest and it's files, does, does there, is there any um, payment for the people in the protest committee? Yeah, so to be honest, you need to put a nominal fee. <coughs> Normally it's like 50 bucks or something like that. And if, they're, if their protest gets upheld, they get the money back. If not, then the protest committee gets to drink okay. beer. We see your crime, how big the crime is. Can you suggest her name for the <laughs> protest committee? Anyone? What? Show up. Okay. Okay. If it wasn't already. Go to Sean. What's your Sean? Harold Davies. Subir, Sean, Harold. Subir. Harold. 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 Okay. So it's final, Subir, Sean, and Harold. Yeah. You're in a cloud, I'm going to finish it. Okay, three is enough. We continue. Okay, landing is short. While flying, you land short, you don't make the goal, or you land like bomb out. Don't scratch too low. That you don't, you have no landing after. First, make sure that you are not going to make it. Is there any safe landing? Make sure you land safely. After landing, immediately mushroom a glider. If you don't do that, we will think, or the pilots can say, like, okay, there is an accident if you leave the glider open. Okay. So when you land safely, okay, boom, you report that you have landed safely, or whatever. Send the messages you have in your heart. And also machine your planet, so everybody can carry on their plan. Okay? If somebody goes down, if there is an accident or somebody goes down to help the person, I think we will allow just one person to go down and help the person. Not many people can go down and help. So we will see to his position, we will give him average point if somebody's really going to land and help the person. Okay? Look out for electric cables when you're landing short. Because we don't have, we have a fixed landing every day. We don't have like one landing here, next day we have something different landing. The landing is going to be just A01 every day. And you know this area, like where the barriers are and all. But when you're landing short sometimes, you have houses, villages, wherever you land in the villages, you know that there's electric cables also. So sometimes, depending on the day, our lights and the you know, visibility, uh, you have to figure it out by looking at the poles. If you look one pole here, another pole here, so then you can figure out there is probably electric line here. So now comes the safety levels. When you are flying in the air, we use these three levels. <coughs> level one, level two, and level three. 
We cannot say, don't speak unnecessarily too much things on, you're not allowed to speak anything on safety frequency unless it's really important. So nobody's blah, 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 or nothing. We can only use it for the use of flying, okay? So we have three levels. I'm flying, I can tell like, okay, by number of this, I'm this situation, at high, blah, blah, it's level one. Level one is like perfectly good for flying. Okay, it's just perfect condition of flying. And then I go somewhere else, or someone, and okay, if you feel like, oh, it's feeling a little dangerous now. Yeah, I feel a little dangerous, but it's still flyable, no problem. It's, it's just jerky, or we have some, or we have some rotors, or we are in the lee side, or whatever, you can, you know, or there's a big cloud, dark cumulus cloud, or, you know, human nimbus form, or something like that, but it's still flyable. It's a little awareness for the people, like there is a danger. So you can say, okay, pile number this, you have location and your height, and you say it's a level two. That's it. So it's information for the, all the pilots that yes, this area is a little, you have to be a little careful. Okay. And then, if it is really difficult, it starts to rain, it starts really difficult condition that it's danger for flying anymore, you can say level three. But you cannot lie by doing this. You cannot use level three for your own advantage. You cannot say like, okay, I'm in a good position now, I really want to bother people and say, yeah, it's a level three. Please don't do this because we are also smart people flying in the air, they can see you doing this. So you can't play this uh, wrong game. So level three can be used only for a good reason, like it's a level three. And then we have ease to take a decision. Just in case of a radio failure, I will, you, I will be the only one who will say, pass stop or pass in slow order. I will tell my name, my name is Ajay, the director is selling, and it's a task software, a task answer. No one else can do this. In case of emergency, I also use it electric devices. I can have a problem. My device is failure or something like that. So I delegate my authority in this case to Vijay Sori. So Vijay Sori can say this, that okay, if many people saying like, okay, level three, level three, level three, and I'm not able to undo that, that means something's wrong with my video also. So if you hear this much, so I think I delegate my authority to Vijay Sorry, the next person that he can say like, okay, he can take the decision. Is that right? Either me or Vijay Sorry. Sir, so can I add something please? So just like I just said, if any pilot reports level three, they are deciding that it's unsafe to fly for them, so they must land. If you are saying level three, you must land regardless of whether the meter director stops the task or not. Depending on the level, yes. If you think it's dangerous for you, you can't handle the situation. No, if somebody calls, you level say it's level two, you should land. You should land. Yeah, you can't say level three and keep going. Yeah, if you say level three, you must come down. Task never may not get stopped, that's different. But it is definitely too dangerous for you to fly, so you must land. Thank you. Thanks for the situation. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the correct way to ask if the task is cancelled? What's the status? What's the status? Oh, yeah, you can say just the status. Don't say like it's cancelled, task cancelled, or no? No, you don't say don't say cancel or stop. What is the status? You can ask like what is the status, guys. That's it. Use the word status. Task status. Okay. What, what what is the status? What radio frequency are you going to be using? It's mentioned in the board. Okay. In the morning time. Otherwise, it's uh, one four four five zero zero. Yeah, we will write on the task board. <coughs> okay. Report back when you fly. Then you pack your glider. Blah blah blah. And then you want to report back. Before in old days, we used to sign the paper, but now it's a tracker. When you take the tracker and you bring the tracker back, that's a report back. Okay. So if you don't give the tracker back, means you don't get any points. You don't mm -hmm. take the trigger, no points. Okay. <coughs> you don't take tracker, you say, the uh, LZ? I think no. Here, no. On table. Okay. On table. No, 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 no. no. When you return that. Uh, <coughs> yeah. yeah. The landing the landing. Put on, so landing. Yeah. In the pandal. <coughs> yeah, the landing, we have the okay. setup. We LZ. have the setup there, we have an office there. Okay. Those who are in the goal, can hand over the uh, trackers, trackers there, the landing zone, and yeah. the other who bumps out or something, okay. the retrieve team 
directly bring back you here and the tracker will be in the control room or HQ. Okay, go. Cool. Perfect. Put the time and then... <coughs> One important thing, we are giving you a tracker, but you still bring your own instrument. Sometimes you can have failure in the tracker, it's an electronic device, and you want the second support for yourself. You can't say like, okay, it's your fault. No one's fault, it's electronic fault, you know. I have my radiating fault, I have my GPS problem. So always have seconds with you, okay? So please do that. If there is some Indians here who don't understand like English or they want to have a separate briefing, after this briefing, I can give them 15 minutes time after this briefing so I can explain it in Hindi. Are we allowed to fly into the back before the start? Mm. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no way. No. 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 It's a valid question. No. <laughs> there's a reason behind it. Because <laughs> we have many classes that come later, and I'll tell you like how many classes we have for uh, <laughs> We have open class, we have serial class, then we have junior class, we have sports class. So, levels are the ICT know. So, I just think you should uh, announce the safety reasons and that you cannot cross the drop the living cover in the support staff. Or during the time. Right. Right. Okay. Just a camera inside the valley as well, so taking you there. So we have to make sure. I know it's a big advantage. The There's a bigger range that uh, when you jump from uh, Hanuman Gar is the top of uh, ridge, which is going up to the top from takeoff. So that's around 3,000 meters. Yeah. So you can go up like three six three five, and then after it's kind of you know it's difficult. But the people, a lot of people, we have done it like in 2015 or before like that. The people jump into the big mountain at the back. So it's a huge advantage because if it is working, the base is high, you can climb high and then make a really good start. But we are not going to allow people to go back now. We we'll keep this restrictions, the cylinder, we we'll just, you have to stay in this zone, not at the big mountain at the back. So nobody is allowed to go to Bharat Valley for a uh, start. So Bharat Valley not allowed? No, we stay in the Valley. Bharat Mountain not allowed, Bharat Valley not allowed. Just this Just range. Yeah, this range. So <laughs> what, is the, what is the penalty if someone goes in zero to the task? Zero to the task. Zero to the task. Zero to the task. Zero to the task. How they get fired of the comp? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a serious yeah. advantage because people, you can climb there 5,000 plus and then make a big glide out. <laughs> but the question is, is zero to the task? Zero to the task. Taking offense? Is Sorry. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. But our, our score is not here, otherwise. No, no, he's here. here. Oh, he's oh. here. Oh, perfect. All right, <laughs> 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 so we have some scoring parameters here. So we keep uh, nominal uh, launch is 96% to get your maximum points. And then minimum distance 4 kilometers. Nominal distance 60 kilometers and it's 60. Can you break the distance? Yeah, 60. Again, sorry. 60? Yeah. You change? Yeah. Okay. So I made 60 and uh, nominal goal 30% and nominal time is 1 hour 30 minutes. Okay. And it's a FTB scoring. So we use a 25% reduction on your lowest score. 25. 25, yes. And uh, if you have more details, uh, Stephen is here. He's going to explain you something about the uh, scoring system. Please, Steve. If someone needs some explanation. If you need any explanation, Stephen. Can you the back ridge or not? Sorry. Good Can you apply the back ridge or not? No. Not a back wall, not a back wall. I want to clear one thing. One thing, one thing. Are you like a mill speed like that? Mill speed like that line, like the highlight. Ah, mill speed. Ah, that's fine, but not in the front face. Yeah. Other side of Uru. Not not in the front face, but in the front face, yes. In the big wall. Let's, let's keep the river as a demarcation. Can we fly other side of Old River, the north side of Old River? That's clear answer, right? Yes. Are you clear with the scoring or you want to have more information about the scoring? If you need any explanation about scoring, 
we have the expert here, you can ask. Why do we why do we do twenty five percent FTV? If we're gonna fly every day, why not twenty percent? Again, sorry. Why do we do twenty five percent FTV? We're gonna fly every day. Can we do twenty? Uh, it's not about uh, my decision. We it's a uh, decision of uh, the. We have one day. This is discard 25. No, yeah. And, uh, you will choose the, the. How many days we have? We have five tasks. Five tasks. We have a task for 27, yeah. 28, or can't fly. Usually, we have five tasks. We have five. five. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. And 2nd of October, we can't have the task because we have the yeah, position already. Maybe. Maybe, but. I'm not sure. It depends upon whether it should be yes or no now only. Yeah. If they, you can make the same like uh, now, this is for. Same as now. Same as now. Same as now. Same as now. No, we can't have it to everyone down and score by 3 p.m. Don't worry. Yeah. So it's not possible. We only have five tasks. Okay, so it's not In case of emergency or in case of accident, you can so you can use emergency frequency, okay, not safety frequency. If you have some problem, you have some, you have hurt yourself, you can use the emergency frequency. Okay. Also, you can use the tracker SOS button. Just hold five seconds, and I will say that you have some problem, and then call the mid director or call someone who is. You want to demonstrate or you want to show them this button? Just hold the SOS button five seconds. Five seconds. And red button. Oh, red button, yes. Yeah, SOS button is a red button. Red button. Red button. How does the tracker submit it? Is it by uh, mobile connection or is it? Yeah, I see the If you look at the reception, it will not work. Yes. 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 Okay, so last is prize giving ceremony is on 2nd of November. And we have different prizes here. I think uh, Suresh is going to explain the prize money and also the trophies and uh, categories. Okay, before going to prize money, I would like to discuss about the safety and the rescue, which is the main part of this event. Uh, I hope so that okay, nobody needs uh, rescue and retrieve in this competition. But in case of emergency, I am here for your safety and rescue with my team. I have a team of 40 people, 36 people in the rescue teams. We have a six teams of rescue, a standby on the takeoff, landing, which, whichever is the side of the task either east or either west, we have a team to that side, one that side. As some pilot flew in this area before, we have a, a very good team for the rescues as well as for the retrieve. Uh, whenever you land outside, just I uh, there is a number mentioned on the task board tomorrow. Just call on that number, the retrieve vehicle will be pick you from that area. If you have just emergency, then also call on that number or maybe press this button for five seconds. Five seconds, yeah. five seconds, then easily I can see in the control room and my vehicle and my team will be there. And we have standby helicopter. I don't think so, we need it. Hopefully, the finger is crossed. If something happened, we have the standby helicopter for the rescue also. So anything, question about the safety and rescue, you can ask. Yes, if you self-retrieve, is there anything you need to do? As in you land out and you take a taxi back. You have to pay from your own company. No, no, I know, but with the tracker. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We don't have to tell you guys. You guys will just figure it out. Yes, not okay. a problem. <laughs> just SMS that time to the landed safely, and we have the information on and that number. Yeah. First bring the trackers, and then go to fly again. Again, if if you want. Telegram. Yeah. Yeah. Telegram group or WhatsApp group. There is a telegram group, WhatsApp group. Yeah, telegram group is the enough, I think. Everybody is using the telegram. And the prize money, here I we have uh, five categories of the prize. No, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six categories. First overall categories, we have uh, prize money 1.5 lakh rupees equal to I don't know, eighteen hundred dollars or something like that. <coughs> Second prize for overall is one lakh rupee, and seventy th five thousand for third prize. So, this is for the overall, and we have prize for the women category also, which is seventy five thousand for the first category, fifty thousand for the second, third thirty thousand for the third one, and we have prize for the Indian category also because. Indian pilots need some support, <laughs> so <laughs> we have a uh, prize money for them also, 75, 50 and 30. We have three another class, serial class, sport class and first time we enter junior class. Those guys have to have one beer from my side <laughs> and mementos and certificates they can get. We don't have cash prize for them all. We have a podium for them. That's it from my side. Any question, anything, you can ask me anytime. That's it. Dinner. OK, so you guys have a dinner tonight, just behind this side. And for the takeoff, we are providing the transportation from 8 AM to 9 AM. After that, we are closing the transportation. If somebody late, they go their shelf to the takeoff point. That's it. Is the briefing up top? Uh, yes, every day there is a briefing, small briefing, every day for the takeoff point. Okay. Who will decide the task of takeoff? And then give it task. Yeah. Uh, for task briefing and weather update I requested Mr. Gurpreet I don't know is for Subir will be uh, explain about the weather on the takeoff sure so Subir will be take care of the weather and Ajay with his uh, team decided the task we have uh, five people in the task committee four people Mr. Vijay Soni Austin, mm, Stas, and Yeshu. 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 Okay, yes. one is not one guy is this local pilot. So, any other would like to come in the task committee? Most welcome. <laughs> okay, with this, uh, this briefing is over.